Damn, you should've got a cookie. Fuck. Only one left. Get it later. We'll be the only one. <laughs> hey guys, group on my back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. We are yes. back with Lucifer. The devil. Last time. Bobby Boucher. There was a breakup. <laughs> there was. But he's in Lucifer's split. Yep. He found out of her, um... Watch out! Yeah. Her, her betrayal. Her Watch out! The doctor, Canaan, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Canaan's biblical? The land of Canaan. Yeah. The land of milk They, they spell it a C, though, so it's okay. The Canaanites from Cain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's with three A's. Did you, did you see Trump trying to say Yosemite? No. He's like the Yosemite, Yosemiteites. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see that. He couldn't say Yosemite. That's hilarious. What did I do with Canon? I don't know. He's like Canites or something like that. It made me think of Yo uh, Yo okay. Yosemites. <laughs> gotcha. Dan is being blackmailed huh? for his part in the whole Malcolm yep. business. Yep. Now, we still don't know who shot him, though. Mm. Maybe it was Dan. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was the deputy. Uh, no, I shot the sheriff. I did not shoot the deputy. All I have to do is wait for some pitiful thug to end you. And right back to hell you go. And Malcolm, he rest. What do you get? A devilish IOU, if you will. And like Malcolm, probably should have been in hell. He seems like a bad guy. I'm trying to think of what kind of deal I would take. Pizza time. For the devil. You know what I mean? Fair. Pizza. Have, look, at, look at this. Oh, come on. You knew you were delivering to a club. You can stay. You can wash your hands. That's like the pizza deliverers who come here and like see no. this. <laughs> they see this? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Jeez, man! Can I stay? In your line of work, how many times has it happened to you? You know, like in those wonderful internet videos? Never. <laughs> oh, that changes tonight. Come. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a bro. This is like that. This is a regular shit out already. Yeah. He's like that Rick James thing. He's like, bitch, come here and have sex with Charlie Murphy. <laughs> Man, in the hot tub. That is, is fast. I, I don't know. I'd be grossed out because there's a lot of just disease and bacteria all over the place. You know what I'm saying? You'd be grossed out afterwards. You think about that now? Uh, COVID's changed me. You think about that now? Yeah. My pizza days. No, it's oh. the idea of like if you're watching porn and then after you're done, you're like, what am I watching? What am I doing? Who am I? Why do you look in your hand? <laughs> I am never alone. I'm constantly. Surrounded by people, you know, a party whenever I desire, my bed never cold. Yeah, you're not getting what she means. Someone else is here to see you for a favor. Not in the mood, mate. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Who would it be? It's gotta be Chloe, her, right? Chloe. Is it Dan? Uh, uh, oh, is that, is that the angel? Nope. Oh. Okay. It's a priest! It's a priest! Huh. Father Frank Lawrence, recruiting kids from my church to move his product. Ah, so this is about young boys, of course it is. One in particular. Why not ask your boss then? Eh? Hey? <laughs> I already have. Oh, no luck. On the contrary. Same to you. I believe he led me to you. I highly doubt that. Mm, maybe he did. I hope this guy realizes who he is by the end of the episode. We all have demons inside. My demon tends the bar. <laughs> My answer to you, father, is a big fat no. So what changes his mind? I don't give a damn about the drug dealer. We're here to investigate the priest. Oh. I'd love if God sent him to him. Mr. Arietta? Hmm. Well, I'm trapped in here with these vile children. I'd love my daughter. Arietta's dead. Maybe. Maybe the priest killed him. He's doing all the drugs. Bow, bow, bow. Man, look, his Signs of trouble. Look, like someone punched him through the face. <laughs> Looks like the priest handled it himself after all. Yeah, no, maybe not. You're the head counselor, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Eric Doyle. Any idea who made Doyle. Doyle. Doyle rules. Just a little annoying. See? Mm. Annoying. Arrest him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's a priest. That's it. No. Hey. Hello. What's the... Hey, ask him what his desires are. I wonder if he can yeah. sense his Menadels. You know. We should talk. About everything, just not here. Okay, do you want to do dinner? Right? What's the talk? Will I get a chance? Zing chance? Something will change. Zing chow? I was just going to say that. I mean, I don't want Chinese. It's actually there. Is it? That's probably what Zing chow is, right? Oh, true. A cookie. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mouth breather. Well, he got shot. So soon after. Well, the There's nothing on that. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Mm. 
Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, but it looks like a, a hamburger bun. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, he has so much donut all over his face. I don't get into any trouble. To church. What are we gonna do? Pray to God. So you can be on the public ground, huh? He's an angel. Right? Oh no, he's gonna go in the confession booth. Oh no. It's been three hours since my last confession. Three hours? A few penance, ten Bloody Marys, and a good shag. Bloody Marys. <laughs> ten Bloody Marys and a good shag. Are you watching over me? Someone else? A minute out. My own yep. guardian angel. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Forgotten about our deal? A deal? Because I know you'll do anything to avoid going back to hell. Back to hell? Uh huh. Yeah, he was a dick. Of course, he went to hell. Father, you get to the task I've given you. Kill Lucifer? So you need some kind of uh, mugger or whatever, right? Thug. Does he believe he's an angel? I guess so, right? Brought back from the dead. He was yeah, in hell. He definitely believes so. I don't know. I would say he does. Can you account for your whereabouts between 11.30 and 12 this morning? I was here, taking confessions. Miss <laughs> Madison had a lot to say. Took up the whole hour. <laughs> By chance, does Mrs. Madison have a limo driver? She does. Three hours ago. Damn. Just spoke to his alibi. What? The MILF in confession. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the Padre has a twin brother who also takes confession. That way he can still be guilty. Lucifer, I'm serious. He's so disappointed. Uh, uh -oh. It's the drug, the drug people. Yeah. Super gonna be shot. People call him the spider. Scary, violent reputation. Do you know Eric who Doyle. the spider is? Your sanctuary just got shot to high heaven, Padre. High heaven. But if you're looking to lay low, I, don't know. I believe I know just the place. Uh, the Lux? This is kind of music for Oh, no, they're gonna strip. <laughs> really? He's doing this on purpose to them. To them. <laughs> This might make you feel more at home, you know. Sure you do. <laughs> I bet that would get more people to church. Does this not bother you? What can I say? I love this song. <laughs> <laughs> he does not like that he's not popular. Piano. Good old rock. Yeah, he does piano. Open for Dylan, Bowie, the Stones. The Why? Open for him? That's cool. Car accident. Ten years ago. I was traveling with Connor and his family. Uh, Connor's dad was a drummer. That's why he's so close with him. God has a plan. Yes, I know. But why does everybody always think it's a good plan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably a much better piano player than you are. Here we go. Time for a duel. That one went down to Georgia. Look at this Rose. No. It's a cover. I was Bob Dylan. He's making a friend. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know why you had to bring me along. What are you anxious to get back to your new friend? Your new friend? I love how she messes with him. It's absurdly adorable. <laughs> Just giving it to someone else. There's Connor. Just go around in the door. Oh. What is he doing? I'm getting panic. Gone. And hiding that dumpster. Yeah, SUV. Or because Connor's the spider. Connor's the spider? The boy the priest was trying to protect is the one who tried to kill him. Man. Isn't that an ironic kick in the cassock? In the what? Cassock. Ball sack. I think, right? If you'll excuse me, I need some air. He's gonna escape. <laughs> gonna go find Connor. Need a light? <clears throat> no thanks. Quit years ago. Just holds it. Still enjoy the ritual, though. God has a plan for me. Oh, his plan for me was quite clear. How do you know it's finished? Hmm. One of my parishioners, uh, a lot of them are still upset about the shooting. Excuse me. Hmm. I think that's a lie. Something seemed weird. Think he's gonna get killed by Connor? You got what you wanted from the evidence. Is it a gun? Yeah. Did you leave Father Frank upstairs? No, he took a call. I presume he came down here. Why come down Why here? Why would you do that? For a call. To leave and sneak out to find Connor. Mace, the priest, have you seen him? So you're talking to me now? Is she just hanging around? Well, somebody considers safe, I assume. Sanctuary. 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 Just do it, Connor. Pull the damn trigger. Eric Doyle! Eric, that fat fuck. 
That guy can't. That guy's not climbing anything. That guy can't run anything. Poor guy's probably watching. I don't think like my role. <laughs> you guys are doing this. <laughs> no! I didn't miss order. Shot sooner damn. now, the priest is dying. Oh, damn. Look, Lucifer's like, no. You idiots! He doesn't want him to die. He doesn't want him to die. Look at that. We've got more to do here. We've got more people to annoy. Oh, oh. Pressure on the wound. I am. Oh, yeah, come on, stay with me. Stay oh. with me. Oh. I didn't understand why God put you in my path. But then it hit me. Maybe he put me in yours. I need you. He gave up on me a long time ago. Your father has, has a plan. My father? You know. You know. Fuck! Man, why did why does it tear me up? Because it's why great writing. Scene, like nine episodes in, the priest I just wow, met. Yeah. Fucking Doyle. Oh Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Kicked him off the ground with one arm. <laughs> it won't light. <laughs> My mind, it's just... Somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, I've been too. Can we do this another time? Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> well, he's playing a song. I had three years of lessons. Mm. Lessons? Chopsticks. Oh, a lot of food. A lot of food. Oh, I, mean, I get it. He's just living there while he can, right? Mm -hmm. And he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Who do you want me to kill? His name is Lucifer Morningstar. Yep, hmm. makes sense. I wondered who it was gonna be. <laughs> Why was he like, have you done the thing I told you to do yet? He didn't know what the thing was. Maybe he was getting a gun? Maybe. I love this episode. Probably my favorite of the show so no. far. It was good. I like how it starts with like him talking to the uh, psychiatrist about like being alone. I like how it starts with the psychiatrist being, you know, talking about him being alone. How he's like, he's like, I'm not alone. He's like, well, is yes. everything alone and lonely? Yes. But then you accompany that with, you know, someone that he would see as, you know, he did see as an unlikely friend. Mm -hmm. And he starts to get an attachment to him and loses him. And that guy also was like, you know, your father has a plan. Yeah. Which yeah. is like something that we've never had, like, anyone really just come out and be like, hey, you're the devil, I know it. You yeah. know? Like, there's yeah, people like, the devil! I, uh, and they're crazy yeah, and shit, you know? But... Yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> I like that. Well, because this guy sees himself and the people that he loves around him as, like, they are sinners. They've done something that they're not proud of. He sees the devil the same way, you know? Mm -hmm. But that was really interesting. I, I really, really liked it. I just, I figured he was going to die. I just didn't know if it was going to happen, like, this episode or if this could be, like, an actual friend he could have for yeah. a while, but... Were they toy yeah. with a little bit more or yeah. something? Yeah, all the character interactions those were really good. Like, yeah. the mystery still wasn't very good. Yeah, I sure. Know you write down the name they give great. you that has nothing to do with anything, and that's the person. Well, so. Yeah. Like I wrote down Tarek Doyle. It was Eric Doyle. The yeah. Spider. Like, who's the person you meet who had a name, but was, like, the least important person that you met? Yeah. yeah. Like, last time it was, like, here like is the, guy the wife. comforting the, the wife. Yeah, yeah, here's the wife. I'm like, oh, man, the wife did it. Like, no, yeah, the guy cool. who was less important than yeah. the wife at the time. He did, exactly. you know, and here he's like, Eric Doyle, yeah. It's like, who's somebody that's in there that if you took them out would serve no purpose and it wouldn't matter? It's like, well, yeah, it's the, the friend of the family last episode. It's the counselor, but not quite it, that counselor. could have been the pizza boy. Could have been the pizza Dude, boy. We didn't say about the pizza that boy. That is shit. <laughs> no, he, I tell you he, what, he, resolved his, he resolved his character arc. <laughs> I, I delivered pizzas for a while. I never had anything. The coolest thing I ever had happen was this one woman that recognized my pregnant wife and took took us into like the the one lodge in Lowell. Yeah. And like her husband and his Lush. friends who were all there drinking and stuff. They're like, look, his wife, she's here. They're pregnant. Give him a good tip. Yeah. They gave me like a whole bunch of money. Yep. <laughs> like it wasn't like and it's, it was like thousands of dollars, but they yeah. gave like a, a much higher tip than I ever got. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So that was the best thing I ever had happen doing delivery. Everything else was just like, all right, here you go, and ho hopefully you got a tip. Hope you didn't get stuck in the driveway. You know, yeah. like it's a muddy shit. I didn't even go where like you go in and like. Knock on the door or whatever. They didn't even answer wearing less clothes or anything, you know? Just oh, I've had that like a million times. Never had that. But, but only like, like only twice did I like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only twice you're like, I, I I understand you're doing, it was it was two girls that were there by themselves, but like you can tell they're just trying to be like, let's fuck with this guy, you know? And I'm like, all right, yeah, I got a good tip, like 14 bucks, something like that. 
but I watched a video where like these people like got a delivery pizza mm -hmm. brought the guy in to get his tip and yeah. they had like eight cups yeah upside down on like the kitchen table or the counter or whatever they're like all right there's money under these cups yeah pick four of them and that's what your tip is and he, you know he grabbed one it was like a 20. he's like oh shit you know, he got another one was a five, got another one was a one, got another one was a hundred. Really? <laughs> he's like, Jesus! He's like, I've never had anything like this. Yeah. He's like, great tip. <laughs> he started crying and stuff. Like, you know what? Here, and just, he gave him all the cups. <laughs> There's one video of this pizza guy. They, they bring him in. By the way, I tell you, never enter into a person's home. I mean, a pizza, being a pizza guy is actually one of the most dangerous jobs well, yeah. in the world well, because they are killed by random strangers more than almost any other profession. Mm -hmm. There's that one story where, like, and I mean, the movie was based yeah. on a true story where, like, a guy got a bomb strapped to yeah. him or something from being in delivery, and they took him. It's terrible. They get mugged. They get robbed. Anyway, but I, there's this video of this guy. This pizza guy goes into the house, and the kid, he's like a teenager. He's a guy has got some friends over, and he goes into his room, and it's a giant round, uh, like, uh, table. And they have, like, candles and, like, fire and stuff and blood all over it and, like, a uh, pentagram. And they're all wearing, like, robes. <laughs> and he's like, we're taking a break real quick. And they, the guys are like sitting there chanting. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it's, it, it is a prank that they did to him, yeah. you know? But I just always thought that was hilarious. Like when you the guy's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And they give him a good tip. And they got one of the guys like, see ya. <laughs> but you can't see their faces. <laughs> it's well, like when you win, am I right? Take this money. <laughs> yeah. I'd be worried about the sa uh, sacrifice that exactly. you know? God damn it's it. It's like when you went over to the, the church basement over there in Dabola. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that did happen. That was a crazy one. <laughs> never happened like that. No. Never the Britneys. No, never had that. The Britneys. Yeah. Not the Britney. Yeah. The yeah, Britneys. Yeah, he just keeps them sort of by name. So and then you look at... remember as much. Outside the window, you had just... They were ripping off his clothes. Yeah. Well, they were getting to the hot tub. Yeah. Oh, sure. I'm just but they weren't ripping know. off his clothes. They were still ripping off his clothes. It's not, not like, like they he was wearing, like, like trunks right at that second. I just... COVID's changed me, man. Like, it's gotta be just... I'm gonna get sick. All that stuff happening, you know? You know, people have like the fantasy of like the grotto at the Playboy Mansion. I bet you that shit's dirty as hell. It's 40 years of not good stuff. I mean, the, sure. I mean, you, you just be worried about STDs would be the thing yeah, you exactly. worry about in general, but. Yeah, I don't want that. But sure. now you have to worry about STDs and, STD. and COVID. They just several, like, yeah. There's yeah. several that are bad. I know. I'm just some that just go away, some that stay with you forever, some that kill you. Yeah. Yeah. It's very and I bet you they're all present. On that balcony. <laughs> All the germophobic tendencies I used to have are now coming in handy, baby. <laughs> exactly. I've been training for this for years. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that Aminadel is actually, like, I didn't know why he did it, but I guess it makes, I like, figured is it a coincidence of, that it's just someone that is loosely connected to the detective? I said the last time, I was like, well, he needed someone to kill him. He said about that. You get Malcolm, who's some kind of shady, dirty guy, and then it's there's a connection there, and you just make it work. I, 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 the, the most interesting idea is just that he went to hell for 30 seconds, yeah. and he's using that to be like, do you want to go back? No, no, no. I'll kill whoever you want, you know? Like, I the first thing, if I went to hell and then had, like, the second chance, the first thing I would, I, I mean, I suppose it's an angel telling you to do it, but, like, I'm like, you know what? I'm never doing no, that. I go to confession. I get all my stuff taken care of. Yeah. I get saved. I'm never going to blackmail someone again. Yeah. I'm going to kill anybody again. Exactly. But, like, how does it work? Like, if you're judged once... It's not like you have a chance to repent while you're down there. I mean, uh, it, just... I mean, I don't know how it works. It depends. I mean, there's like there's the once saved, always saved thing. You know, there's the uh, Calvinism, yeah. <laughs> right? Where no, no, no matter what you do, it's, the, the plan was already written for you, so you can't do anything to change it. Oh, is that Calvinism? Yeah, there's uh, there's a whole bunch of different things, but I mean. I, if, I, if I had absolute confirmation that this was real, then that changes everything for me, you know? Yeah. I would be stuffed in my face. Yeah. First, I had to figure out, like, which uh, hell was I at, maybe. you know? Because there are certain different hells for different religions. I, I had to try to, like, remember, like, identify which hell it was, <laughs> you know? Should I change it? would be a hell of a thing if that happened. Hell of a thing. Hell of a thing. If that happened, I end up going to, you know, well, there's no Jewish hell. The Muslim hell. <laughs> it's no Jewish hell? No, they don't no. believe in hell. Just take that religion. Despite they have the same God as both. <laughs> they just uh, don't believe in hell? Okay. Yeah. But they're, Abra they're an Abrahamic tradition, so if you, you should be good if you're believing in the God of uh, Islam or Christianity. They're all technically the same one. There's no hell. Not, well, they don't believe in it. Hmm. And there's not a whole lot of evidence that there is an actual uh, hell, hell, uh, biblically. Most of those traditions we get is from Dante's Inferno. Hmm. Um, but 
there's an idea of like a place for <laughs> the beast and his angels, which is Lucifer and the demons, that they might be destroyed, maybe. Um, there's a whole bunch of different Normally things. it's just referred to as the Lake of Fire yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So is Chloe ever going to mention him just picking up that dude one-handed? He works out. <laughs> like we were the big show, maybe. <laughs> no. ah! Captain Amazo. Is that was his, what was his name in uh, Waterboy? Oh, Captain Amazo or something like that. I can't remember. I've only seen it once. Sounds right. And the big show's like laughing at him through the TV. The big show was Captain Amazo. Yeah, I haven't seen Waterboy in a long yeah. time. I didn't watch wrestling back then. So I he was also know. one of the Santas in Jungle All the Way. Was he? All I didn't way, know yeah. that. Huh? I'll tell. Man, so. He's the big guy. Yeah, the big yeah. guy. <laughs> big. He was, there's a movie I watched where like he has to like hide in a church or something like that from like criminals or something. Huh? Sister Act, and you think of Whoopi Goldberg? No. No. <laughs> no. I love the uh, the piano scene between Frank yes. and Lucifer. That was probably my favorite. Scene. So the music itself, for some reason, pushed me to Donald and Daffy Duck's dueling pianos from no. Roger Lucifer. Rabbit. Damn it. Yeah, it reminded me of that so much. Obviously not the context, but the actual music. Mm. I don't know why. I got some Bob Dylan. Um, it makes me a happy yeah. man. Yeah. It's kind of rose drink. I gotta look up what a cassock is. Yeah, I got really connected to Frank and Lucifer. Me too. I think a lot of it is like, we've just never seen Lucifer sad before. Yeah. Which you is know? great, yeah. Like, but, he was mad. Yeah. Upset at being betrayed and, you know, whatever else. But he went from this guy who was just like, I don't care about this guy, to still trying to pretend he didn't care, but actually growing an attachment with him, you know? It's kind of like the priest in Dexter, but I like this one back oh, yeah. then was so yeah. much shorter. Most deaf. Yeah. I mean, it hit all the moments, though. It did. <laughs> and one episode, I suppose, was season. It did. It's pretty much the exact same yeah. story. Yeah. The what devil and the priest. <laughs> uh, a cassock, Aaron, is not a ball sack, you fool. Why'd you, what? It's a full-length garment of a single color worn by certain Christian clergy. <laughs> so it's the thing that's usually under... Um, Robes and stuff like that. Why'd you target me? Because uh, you said, like, what's a cassock? And I said, it's a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one asking the question, not answering it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like the discussions of, like, God's plan, uh, all that stuff. Like, you know, because Lucifer, he's in that unique position of not understanding, you know, faith, but being Gnostic in the sense that he knows this stuff is real. So. He knows it's real, yeah, but, yeah. He, I, you know, his idea of, like, the winning, you yeah. know? I, I like the idea of, like, everyone plays by your rules yeah. and they they do everything you want, they want, you know, they, they, they're told to and they yeah. lose. And then the people who sin and don't do the things you tell them to do, they lose too, yeah. you know? Like, how do you win your game? You the know, he's, he's the bad sense. at it. It's it takes great. and it takes. And I love it. it. Yeah. I also love that God or coincidence or whatever is lighter than light, so he's standing out there with a cigarette unlit, just like yeah. Frank did when he was out there. Like, like ah, it's more of a ritual thing now yeah. than a... Like, I like, the, yeah. I like doing this, but That's, I don't smoke anymore. It just immediately reminded me of Constantine that we see in the CW, because you know, technically he can't smoke on screen. It's against, like, the, that. Sure. But he's known for just smoking all the time, so every time he puts a cigarette up, he keeps trying. He's like, ah, it never works. <laughs> or something happens, or someone walks by, he's like, not right now. And they throw it down. He's like, but I had I had since rewatched that uh, one scene that we had in the, in the crossover. And it's just a, it's really quick. It has nothing to do with this show other than the fact that Lucifer's in it. But Constantine, or Lucifer, just opens up the door to the Lux and Constantine's there and he's, uh, he's asking him for, uh, help. He says no. But he's asking him for help and he says, I want to thank you for what you did for, with Maze. So Constant, John Constantine somehow helped him get Maze out of trouble or something way before the show, the events of the show. So that's interesting. I wonder what it was. But a little cool DC connection there. I'm curious on what's going to happen with uh, Dan and Malcolm and Chloe and all that kind of stuff happening around. Like, Dan's falling back into just helping Malcolm to keep himself safe, I guess, yeah. which I imagine keep was... Chloe safe, too. I mean, TV, yeah. TV trope, you don't have a scene like, I got something I got to tell you, that early in the episode. I'm like, obviously something's going to change, status quo, where he can't tell you, you know. But So I was just kind of waiting for that to happen. Mm-hmm. But I was surprised it wasn't the classic, like, you were going to tell me something. Uh, eh, nothing. Or uh, obvious lie, you know. Instead they, both, just instead didn't they both didn't want to talk. Yeah. Yeah. I also like Chloe, who went to be with Lucifer mm -hmm. as a friend. That's cool. Which is nice. Recognizing that's what it needs. Yeah. Like, they've been growing a little closer together mm -hmm. and stuff, you know, so mm -hmm. it's great. Yep. It's great. All right. Well, you guys have anything else? Nope. Too late.
Thanks guys for watching this episode of Lucifer. You can check out the next one right now over at patreon.com slash blindway. Full length is there as well. Also twitch.tv slash blindway. We play video games. We, we talk in podcasts. We do, we do stuff. We do. We yes. can check it out. You should order pizza. Take off our clothes. Cookie.